Hey Scrappers, it's Tom from the iScrap app and a user on YouTube asked us a question about the difference between hair wire, bare bright and the like. So we wanted to go over a few different options. Now in front of you of course you're starting to drool just looking at this copper bare bright but we want to talk about some of the different parts of the bare bright and what you need to look for and why scrap yards will give you different prices on different items. Now this is your traditional bare bright copper wire. It's big, it's thick, it generally is going to be stripped from something like this. So when you open it up, things you want to look for when you unfold it, you want to make sure that it's bare bright throughout. Sometimes when this gets too hot, the rubber could melt, go inside, and that will lower your price. But now you're going to ask the question of different hair wire. Now you can look at these different grades of wire and these different thicknesses and obviously see that this is much thinner. This is called number one hair wire and is almost never bought as a bare bright. It should not be for multiple reasons. One, a lot of these pieces of hair wire are actually out of electric motors. They look like they're stripped copper wire until you put them next to real copper stripped wire and you see that they have a reddish hue, a pink hue that's not copper. That means that there's an enamel on it and that makes it become a number two. But if it looks like this where it is bare bright on the outside and on the inside, there's no coatings, no enamel, nothing like that, one of the primary reasons that it does not go as a bare bright is when it goes into the furnaces, it melts so quickly that unless they have it at the bottom of the box, the bottom of the furnace, there's a very high chance that this could easily lose 10 to 15 percent of the material just by it burning up so quickly and going up with the smoke. Now this is another type of wire that looks just like this copper that's here, but this is called brass EDM wire. Brass EDM wire is very thin. It also can be called hair wire at the same time, but these are used in all types of applications. When you look at these, it's normally going to be very thin. You can normally take it and break it in half, but what you want to be careful about is when you put it in your brass. Most scrap yards are not going to downgrade you. It should be a normal yellow brass price, but if you deal with really good scrap yards and you have a lot of the brass EDM wire, you could actually get a better price as long as it's contained just because of the process that it goes through. Scrappers, this is Tom from the iScrap app. Any other questions that you want us to answer, let us know. Make sure that you follow our podcast, Scrap You Later, as well as our YouTube and other social channels. Until next time, I'll scrap you later.